What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be discussing the plony leaf processing. This is going to involve fermented leaf juice, mealworm feed, and the microbial generation. I'm going to instruct on how to obtain these. And first, here's a list of the compounds that exist within the plony leaf that's been uh, researched by university. And also they have done a bacteria uh, evaluation. Uh, on the left hand side under L is leaf. And you'll see uh, they have it listed in phylum and the order. And these microbes are known to be very beneficial to the plant ecosystem, especially with the carbon cycle. Uh, a lot of these microbes help to degrade organic matter. And this is why we're going to obtain these from the leaves using a fermentation process you will see coming up. So we first need to harvest the trees. There's many ways to do it. You can do it with a chainsaw here. Uh, we cut the leaves down and then you can harvest them. It's on the ground, but it's easier if you just go out in the field and harvest them right from the tree. You'll see here, uh, it's very easy. You just take the stem, you get a razor blade and just pull it and you collect it into a barrel. And from there, you transport it to where you have to, where you have your machines to break down the leaf. Uh, or if you're doing it, I'm just showing you a manual method so everyone can, you know, get started on this today. Uh, you chop it down to a small, about a square sized, and then you put it into a five gallon bucket. And you mix it all up. Uh, you use brown sugar, and you scrape everything up and get all of it to eventually go to about one-tenth its original size and this is just the process I'm showing you guys uh, the labor it takes uh, this can be done with machines if you have them there's always other ways to do this this is just the manual method and then you gotta smash it down to the bottom of the barrel or whatever you're using into compaction and you should eventually once you reach the top it should look like this and then from there, after a week, you pull that out, week or two, and you should see that it's ready to go, and you'll be able to squeeze the juice out of it. And so we have to squeeze that now. See here, you take a five gallon bucket, and then you use a 30 mesh screen, and I just squeeze it until all the juice has been collected. And you'll see here, this is an example of the leaf juice. Very active, lots of microbes, very beneficial for the soil. And here is uh, what the liquid looks like, very dark. And on the right hand side is the compound list, once again. And now after you have done that, you I store it into jugs using a funnel for storage and this stuff stores indefinitely and when I'm done with the leaf I rinse it off get a lot of the sugars and microbes that are remaining that I didn't squeeze and I wash it off a little bit and then I finish off by squeezing the juices out again and then throwing it onto a plastic sheet for drying in the sun Now we need these leaves to dry so we can process them into a smaller diameter for the mealworms, more surface area, so they'll be able to eat it easier. And you'll see here, this is the processing. I take the sieves I use, or the colanders I use for the bugs, and then I process them into the smaller portions, and I just do that until it's all done. And then I put the mealworms into the polonia bedding and they consume it. And you'll see that they, in a few moments, what the polonia frass will look like when you're done. So this is what it looks like when the, when the uh, worms are eating the polonia leaf. And here's what the frass will look like when you collect it. 
And now here we're going to move on to microbe collection. So you need to once again go out in the field and collect more. And also the seed pods are really amazing. You just have to make sure you crush these up before you use them to increase surface area. And in here you'll see I added a little bit of brown sugar. Uh, I have crushed these up already. I ran them over with a vehicle and it opens up the pods, makes it you know more surface area for the microbes to consume the polonia uh, seed pods. And you don't have to mix this. It's just you can just add the sugar and put the water in. You got to fill it all the way up to the top. Uh, make sure the water is covering it. So, and then sometimes you can put a brick on there, but you don't really have to with these. I noticed that don't just have to do much. Just fill it up with water and cover it. Just cover it up. I use a plastic garbage bag in these 55 gallon drums. You'll see here. And then I'm here. I am opening up, revealing. This is this has been about two weeks. And now I'm going to collect, I'm going to take out all of the seed pods. I'm going to put those into another bin and then that's going to be composted. And these are already full of microbes. So they're going to, they're going to compost extremely quick. We're keep on getting rid of the uh, excess polonius. So we're going to collect the liquid very easily. This is what it looks like after you have strained it out and now you begin you get your 30 mesh sieve over a five gallon bucket and just grab your microbes and you pour them over the screen into a five gallon bucket and that is your microbial liquid ready to go you can go ahead and just apply that to your field and that's about 40 gallons of microbes so now we're going to continue again here we're going to show you how to ferment the leaves and you need to get the 50 gallon bucket, 55 gallon, uh, any any type of container can work. You do a 500 gallon, depending on how many leaves you have. You know, as long as you can keep harvesting, you can, you know, as big as you can go. And, and this is another batch that I've been making. Also, I use, like I said, I use the bricks to keep the leaves submerged under the water so they can deteriorate. And then you can also use those leaves afterwards too uh, as a mulch to amend the soil and to regenerate a field. You can see what's going on right here on the surface. It's pretty amazing what, what's going on here. So after a few weeks of this sitting here, uh, I use heavy bricks and uh, these are actually, there's so much activity going on that the bricks are lifting up and all this all the gas is pushing these bricks up above the line and it's keeping it almost buoyant. So you can see how active all this is getting. Uh, we're getting fats and proteins, you'll see in my, on my finger here, from the leaf. So it's very beneficial for plant life and to feed microbial colonies within the soil. So. You put all the leaves, I put this as a 55 gallon drum, I put them on here and I throw enough water to cover it and then I put these bricks on top and I'm going to kick this, you can see all the gas is going to come up from here. Do that again. So, and that's the process. And after this is done, I'll show you guys how to strain it. So here I used a 500 gallon container and now I'm taking out the leaves with this, uh, it's a flour strainer I got from the uh, local baking store. Works very well, I just scoop them out. I mean, this is a low tech method. I'm sure you can, anyone can engineer this to be a much quicker process. And I just take all of the leaves out of here and I save them because, like I said, they are a very good uh, mulch and they have a lot of nitrogen in there. A lot of, the MPK rating for these leaves is uh, it's very it's like a three to two around there. 
So you can go ahead and use this as a mulch and every time you feed your or water your plants and whatnot, you're feeding your plants with this mulch. So it's a very good bioremediator. So here's the leftovers. You'll see it looks like seaweed. And here's it on the ground. And you'll see after a few weeks what it looks like in the next clip. So this is after two weeks. And it's already remediating the top layer of the soil that I put this on. You can see all the growth and the mycelium and the mycorrhizae growing like mad all over it and it's sticking it's sticking to the soil you see underneath it's all nice and dark and looking good and this is it taken off the soil and i was take setting this to get tested now this is after you're done with the straining you grab your 30 mesh seed and you just pour this stuff into your five gallon buckets or whatever you are using for collection you know that and then here's me uh, pouring the microbes onto the soil demonstrating their effectiveness. You can see the uh, the action going on right on the surface. It's really good to see that. Uh, that's going to make sure that our, our beds are decomposing all the organic matter in there. It's going to feed all our plants what it needs. It's going to pass that uh, plasmic membrane. And here's more watering footage. Uh, you can see how active these polonia microbes are on the soil. Very healthy.